What's up guys, it's Jen and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Black Lives Matter movement. I have been wanting to do this video for a minute now and I have hesitated because when I start talking about what's been happening in the world in recent days and what's been happening for far too long, I find myself sitting in utter silence and I don't wanna be silent anymore. I can only speak from my own perspective on how I feel on this matter. I have not walked in your shoes. I do not know what it's like to walk in your shoes. I can say that I care about you and I'm standing behind you in this cause. So basically, the reason why I haven't done this sooner is because I got myself to thinking that I'm a small channel and what difference is gonna make if I speak out and say something and also being nervous, being afraid that I would say the wrong thing, but where I'm coming from is a place of love. And I believe when you come from love, then you're coming from the best place possible. So I wanted to sit down and touch on this very serious subject with you guys today because it is incredibly important to me. And I have been showing my support for the Black Lives Matter movement quietly in my own personal way, how I can. and. I still want to speak on it because I feel like I feel like it's just not enough. I feel like I want to be a part of it here on on my channel. I want to speak on it here on my channel whether I'm the most eloquent or educated person doesn't matter because it is about love. It's about love and understanding. And the fact that we are speaking about this in 2020 absolutely floors me. I can't wrap my head around it. I can't understand how this can still be going on how we still are living in these times where people are losing their lives because of the color of their skin. And it's beyond wrong. These heinous acts that keep occurring are just so heartbreaking that I just can't make any sense of it. So what I wanna say and what I wanna share with you guys, just my thoughts on what I've been seeing and, and what has gone on since before I was born and that's just this vicious cycle. It's, it's the saying that if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it over and over and over again. And I feel like, when are we going to learn? When are we going to say that enough is enough? It's, it's beyond time that we finally say enough is enough. and just to stand in unity with one another and accept each other. It's, it's, these things are not <laughs> impossible to do. They're not hard to do. So now is the time to learn and to educate ourselves and to be honest with ourselves and to go out there and really be supportive of one another and stand beside each other as brothers and sisters because hate and ignorance has no race. It has no color, it has no religion, it does not discriminate, it affects each and every one of us. We are all susceptible to hate and ignorance. But as we are susceptible to those things, we are also susceptible to love. Love does not discriminate either. It is for each and every one of us, and for us to have the courage to step out in love is a far greater, far more powerful emotion than, than hate could ever come up against. It's beyond time that we get out there and support one another and love one another and look at each other as brothers and sisters, as human beings, all of us loving one another for our uniqueness, our, our differences. That's what makes us beautiful. I can't imagine wanting to live in a world where we're all the same. It would be like a twilight zone hell. And to be quite honest, that's not the world I want to live in. I am so glad that we're all unique and different and beautiful in our own way. What a wonderful thing. And why can't we celebrate that? Why can't we just love and accept one another for our differences and see it as something that's beautiful and wonderful? We don't want to live in a world where we're all the same, where we all look alike and sound alike. What kind of world is that? We're all different and we're different for a reason. We're, we're supposed to be different. We're supposed to share and, and enjoy and be glad in our differences and love and accept one another for our differences and stand together united. And until we can do that, we're gonna keep on repeating the same vicious cycle over and over again. Very much like a child who grows up 
in an abusive home has children of their own and continues to abuse their children and they continue to abuse their children and so on and so forth. And so on goes that vicious cycle and it keeps on going until we stand up and say enough is enough and we're ready to make a change and we're ready for it to stop. We are ready to see a new day where people can step outside of their homes and not worry about the color of their skin. How is this even a thing that's happening? This should not be happening. We should be so far beyond this by now that I just can't, I can't make sense of it, you guys, but I can stand for this cause and I do stand for this cause and I am showing my support here and now saying that I love and accept each and every one of you. I have love for you and I want to show my support and stand beside you and be a part of this movement as we all should be a part of this movement because black lives do matter. They absolutely matter. Come from a place of love, which is far greater than hate. And just remember, violence only begets violence. Hate begets hate. But love begets love. Where there is love, there is hope. And we can make a difference standing together. There are things that we can all be doing at this point in time to support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will be linking down below the Black Lives Matter website where you can go ahead and make a donation should you choose to do so. But if you can't do anything monetary, there are things as simple as watching your favorite YouTubers who have larger platforms and they are donating their ad revenue from their videos to the Black Lives Matter movement. You can stand in peaceful protest with your brothers and sisters. There are many things that we could be doing right now to support this movement and I know that a lot of you are and this is also a part of my supporting it is by coming on my channel and, and just speaking out about it even though it may not be the most eloquent but it, it's with the sincerity of my heart that we really need to make a change. We really need to have change happen now. We need to be a part of that change and we need to come from love. We need to let go of the fear and the hate and we need to love and accept each other. It is beyond time. It needs to happen. It needs to happen now. And those who uphold the law are not above the law. They just aren't. And it's not okay. And I'm sitting here and I'm saying it's not okay. And I may feel nervous about how this will be taken by some people, maybe I'll be misunderstood, maybe I won't. I hope that I'm not, but I can honestly tell you I am coming from a place of love and I do want to see change. So I am a part of the Black Lives Matter movement and I think we all should be a part of it. We should be a part of it. We should be standing together as brothers and sisters. Let's go out there with love. That is our greatest weapon is love from our heart and just support one another and be good to one another. And let's make it so that things like this don't happen anymore. They just shouldn't be happening. I know that we can do this so long as we stand together. As long as we're united, we can make this change. We can make this happen. So that's what I wanted to say today. Though I've been thinking about doing this video for quite some time, the catalyst for today, what really kind of prompted me to get this, sit down and get this video out there to you guys was was Jay and Sean and they are a-holes watching movies and I'm gonna also link their channel down below they've been speaking on the Black Lives Matter movement and some of their videos that I've seen they're very educated on it and I really like what they have to say about it and I love the support that they're showing for this movement so I will be also linking their channel down below so if you don't know who they are please go check out their channel because they're also giving a great contribution to this cause, as I know that we all are in any way that we possibly can at this time, and I, I'm totally aware of it. I know that you guys who watch my channel, I talk to you, and, and we know one another here. We're, we're a loving YouTube family, and I know you guys are on board with this and that you're out there showing your love. This is just something, this is something that I wanted to do just to have this here on my channel to show that I, I am standing for this cause, but it does matter to me and I want to be a part of it and I want to be a part of spreading a message of love and it is so greatly needed. So if you haven't already and you do have a YouTube channel and, and you want to speak on this, I encourage you to do so and let's continue to spread love to one another because that's, that's what's going to help us right now. Let's, let's get clear. Let's be good to one another. Let's be kind to one another, accepting of one another and loving of one another. 
loving each other because we're all different and seeing that it's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful that we all come from different places, that we're all different and unique in our own special way. Let's celebrate that and support and love one another. Let's make it happen now. Let's make it happen together. So guys, that is it for today's video. I just wanted to sit down and address the subject because it has been weighing heavy on my heart and I don't want to be silent anymore just because I may be afraid that I may not say the right thing or be as educated or eloquent as others have been on this matter. I still have something to say. I still have love in my heart and I have love for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I hope you all are safe and I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Thanks.